Hi, welcome to my review of Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master, a film I've been highly anticipating for quite some time, my second most anticipated film of 2012, and now it's finally here. So what The Master is about is that it's basically about a naval veteran played by Joaquin Phoenix who's just gotten out of World War II. And what happens is that, you know, he's looking for work and... You know, he finds work, but the, the problem is that he can't really keep a job because he's just such a raging alcoholic. You know, he's and, – and I mean by raging alcoholic, I mean by raging because the fact that he won't just drink alcohol. He gets chemicals and mixes them and makes the craziest cocktail, and he gets drunk off of them, and he is just – I mean the guy is so beyond effed up till it's like how the hell could this guy – I mean there's no help for this guy, absolutely none. And – Basically, he uh, you know he's out one night, kind of I guess looking for an alcoholic fix. And what he does is that he comes across this party hosted by Lancaster Dodd. Although they don't show the first time you know Freddie and Lancaster interact with one another, they basically just kind of fast forward uh, to the next day where they actually do have a proper conversation because uh, Lancaster Dodd mentions how drunk Freddie was at the party. And Lancaster sort of takes uh, Freddy under his wing and sort of, you know, lets him in on this organization or this cult-like organization that Lancaster is the head of. Lancaster is basically a con artist, you know, he fills Freddy's head with a bunch of bullshit that even he knows is BS. And from that point on is when the film gets a little crazy and quite frankly, the film is a bit out there. So I'm a huge Paul Thomas Anderson fan, you know, Boogie Nights, There'll Be Blood are two of my all-time favorite films, and, you know, and I've seen I've seen the majority of his films, you know, I haven't seen A Heart Eight, and I've seen most of Magnolia, everything else I've seen, uh, at least once or twice, actually no twice, three times, whatever, uh, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm quite a, I'm quite a fan, he's, he's probably my second favorite director, and, you know, just everything he does, I think, is, you know, a piece of art in its own, you know, right. And and the master is no exception. Okay, so how's the acting in the master? Well, just like, you know, everyone's been saying, Walking Phoenix is amazing and so is Philip Seymour Hoffman. And you know, I, I and, and since there's been so much talk about the acting, because the acting, I mean, like I said, it's incredible. I feel I feel like really the star of this movie is not the actors. I think it's the cinematographer, uh, Mihai uh, Malamere. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but fuck, this guy is a genius. This is by far the best cinematography I've probably ever seen on a film. I mean, it is like a moving photograph. It is so beautiful, and it's just, I mean, for that alone, I think it's worth just, I mean, if, if you just love looking at pretty things, this is a movie for you, and just know that this, you know, I said I said earlier, this movie's a bit out there. And I mean, it's really out there. It's a movie that is very different from your normal film. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of vile. It's kind of, it's just a little weird. And, but then again, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson, he's, most of his films are kind of like that though. Anyway, though, this is like times 10. Okay, so what are the flaws to The Master? Well, I don't really have any. But, you know, some people have complained that, you know, they don't like the characters or they just didn't find the movie all that entertaining. Well, The Master's one of those movies is the fact that it's not meant to be entertaining. It's not, I don't think you're, I don't think you're even really meant to like the characters. You know, this might sound sort of, you know, a bad thing to say about the movie, but it's, I think it's art for art's sake. You know, that's what it is, you know. All the technical things, you know, all that, it's top-notch. That's perfect. Just everything else, like, you know, the story, the characters, the more subjective things. You know, I don't I don't have a problem with it. I can see why some people do, and that's it, you know. I think the film's phenomenal. I think it is a piece of art, and and that's what it is, you know. Paul Thomas Anderson, he makes he make he doesn't make he does he just doesn't make movies. He makes art. And that's what the master is. So I'm gonna give the master a four and a half out of five. And and, and, and in fact, I, I kind of feel weird rating a movie like this because it 
it's just you know just the way it is. But if I had to give it a rating, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. So that's what I give it. Go check it out if you want to see something different. If you want to see something that is you know just you know because this film is total art house. If you like that kind of stuff, you'll probably like. It. If you don't, eh, skip it. So this has been my review of The Master. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.